hey guys what's going on welcome back to danny's kitchen in today's video i will be sharing with you how to cook smothered turkey wings as you all know thanksgiving is coming up if you don't want to cook the whole turkey then you can go ahead and try cooking some turkey wings guys please subscribe to my channel like this video and stick around So guys, these are all the seasoning that I'm going to be using today and the amount that I'm using, I'm going to put it in the description box. So here are the turkey wings I got from the store, some big old turkey wings. I know this is going to take the whole day if you cook, but I got three platters, but I'm only going to cook two so it can fit in one pan. So guys, stick around. I'm going to show you step by step how I prepare this turkey. So now I'm going to clean up my meat right now. So I add some hot water to the turkey wings and I'm just going to add some vinegar. Then I'm going to use some lemon and wash it down. And then I'm going to pat dry it before I add the season. So take off excess water off the turkey wing them. Now that everything clean and ready to season, it's now time. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, add some avocado oil. Next, I'm going to add some all-purpose seasoning. Then I'm going to add some dry thyme, thyme leaf. Then I'm going to go ahead with the paprika. Paprika After the paprika, then I'm going to use the Italian seasoning. Then the sazan seasoning then the cayenne pepper and then the dried pepper flakes and i'm just gonna massage that in and put that to marinate for maybe about like 30 to 40 minutes roughly and the amount of ingredients that i use i'm gonna put it in the description box so you see the the quantity amount that i use Over here we have the vegetables that I'm going to use to make the bed for the turkey. So I have carrots, I have celery, I have thyme, rosemary, onion, lemon, bell peppers, I have the white pepper, salt and avocado oil. So I'm just going to cut these up and then put them in the aluminum pan and make that bed and then put the turkey on top and I'm going to put it in the oven. The row so i'm going to show you guys step by step everything so just keep back and watch the video all right so guys i finished cut up all the vegetables and I'm just kind of, you know, putting them in the aluminum pan. And this is the order that I want them into. So after I put everything, I am going to use some avocado oil and then put some white pepper along with some salt. 
on the vegetables. So I'm starting to place them in the aluminum pan. As I said, I did only six, so I have to make everything fit. I'm just gonna put these two on top. And then the pan that I seasoned them into, I'm just gonna put a little water in there just to wash the season and then pour it in there. I don't want nothing to go to waste. So I'm gonna cover this with foil paper and put it in the oven at 350 degrees for an hour and a half. And then after that, I'm going to show you guys step by step the process in cooking these smothered turkey wings, all right? So now I'm going to put it 350 for an hour and a half. So it's now an hour and a half. I'm going to remove the foil paper and I'm going to put it back in the oven for another hour but now it's 375 degrees and it's coming on guys so i'm just gonna put it back in the oven right now Time to make the gravy now so I'm gonna put three tablespoons of butter to melt in the pot then I, after the butter melt I'm gonna add some of the gravy from the the pot the aluminum foil that's the dripping from the turkey and I'm gonna take half cup of that I'm um, dripping and add it to the melted butter after that I'm gonna add some chicken brats I'm gonna do a total of four cups. Well, I'm gonna put three cups first and then I'm gonna mix the flour in the other one cup because I don't want the flour to start um, bubble up in the pot. If you understand what I mean, I want it to be smooth. And then I'm putting one third cup of heavy cream. Then I'm gonna add half teaspoon of browning and half teaspoon Worcestershire sauce and I'm gonna um, just mix that with a wooden spoon until I get the desired consistency that I want so this is it right here so I'm just gonna use the other one copper chicken broth and mix it with the flour and then after that I'm gonna add some salt pepper garlic and onion powder to season the pot So I'm just going to leave this to simmer for about 5 minutes on low heat. 
Once the gravy is done now, it's time to just add it back. I didn't pour out all the gravy from the aluminum pan. I left some on the bottom because, you know, I just want extra. So I'm just going to spoon the, the gravy over the turkey wings and then I'm going to put it back in the oven again for another one hour. And nobody asks if I'm not hungry, you know. But guess what? I just have to wait till it's done. But this is the process, guys. Y'all will love it. And if you can smell it through the phone or the computer, whatever you're watching it on, it smells really, really nice. Trust me. Turkey finally cooked and ready for eat now. I forget to record the video when I was taking it out of the oven. So this is the finished look. I'm just adding some more gravy on the turkey and the gravy is thick and nice just the consistency that i like so guys let me all know if you're gonna try this recipe for your thanksgiving don't forget to hit that subscribe button thanks for watching